Okay, so here's the saddle tank, main body of the saddle tank. These ears will get bent over so that they will uh, grip the sides of the lamp. So it'll sit there like that. So anyway, I'll need to fit that so that it sits on there just so. And once I get that fitted, I will of course get these plates soldered in place for the end walls. And then I'll need to bend and prepare another piece of sheet metal to go inside the inner wall of the saddle tank. So that's what's going to be happening next. Doing a little fit up, a little soldering, and let's see how this tank finishes out. Okay? Thanks. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm taking my flat nose pliers and I am shrinking the ends of the saddle tank inward so that I'll get a, a nice closed seam all the way around and uh, yeah so just kind of roll this in all the way around till I've got about oh I don't know maybe a 20 degree chamfer if you will on the end this closes in so there'll be a good seating area for the end plate to rest against and uh, we'll, that way we'll get a nice gas tight seal when I get it all closed up so I've taken my shears I've taken a little nip there and a little nip there and I've got it marked off already. And I just work my way around. like that and now the end plates will have a place to rest when I get ready to solder it in place okay so on to the next step preparing the surfaces for soldering making sure they're cleaned up Get some iron wire to get some compression around this so that it's tight. And then, uh, and the suitable application of heat with the soldering. Right, so I'm set up to solder up the end plates of the saddle tank. Um, what I have done is I have, um, cupped over the ends 
so that the plates will fit up against the, uh, the main tank body and the solder will flow freely along those seams. To hold the uh, plate in the end plates in place, I'm using a, a heat blocking, they call it uh, heat blocking putty. Um, not endorsing them, but the stuff works pretty good. Uh, in the old days before asbestos was bad for you, we used to get uh, asbestos uh, um, putty, uh, just made out of wet asbestos, like a paper mache, and use that to pack our, our components if we didn't want them to move. Uh, if we couldn't wire them in place, we would use the putty to hold things in place while we established at least some solder uh, along the seams, holding things in place. So that's what I'm going to use now to uh, solder the end plates for the saddle tank. So I'm just going to shove us over. Get the real mini torch. Don't get those uh, Chinese knockoffs because they don't work. They don't get a gas seal on the nozzles. They're, they're just junk. Well, it's a waste of time. Save yourself that $30 and put it towards the purchase of a nice uh, actual mini torch. They're worth the $150, $135, whatever they are now. Um, yeah, quality tools will give you quite a quality results. Clean it up. Pick lead out and uh, look for little pits that we need to resolder. All right, so I've got the saddle tank uh, outer body soldered up. This will all get finished back, so we have a nice end finish on here. So the next thing I'm going to do is I have to put a bump in the top here that gives the air pocket for the uh, pipette to come through and pick up steam rather than just blowing out boiling alcohol. So. We'll do that next and uh, get the inner jacket soldered in and uh, make sure it's gas tight. I, so um, we've got the saddle tank inner sleeve or in the inner portion of the tank soldered in. I've got the whole drilled for the um, little tube to come out, the snorkel if you will. I've got the bump knocked in and that gives a little air gap for the expanding steam to escape otherwise it would just be boiling the uh, alcohol and just shooting out 
flaming alcohol dribbles all over the place rather than having steam pressure and causing it to uh, exit as a jet stream of flame. So uh, there are a couple of little holes that I need to close up on and then I'm going to solder in the little snorkel which is a um, piece of copper tubing that uh, you can get from refrigeration supply anybody that sells copper tubing um, so this uh, is a, about a sixteenth of an inch uh, aperture opening and that'll give me a nice uh, strong flame but nothing too large I don't want to have uh, because it doesn't have a, a large reservoir we want a good long burning flame and then we would use uh, like a blowpipe to direct the flame towards the joint that we're trying to solder and I'll demonstrate that once we get this constructed and on its way. Okay, so here we are. <coughs> Going to solder on the little uh, Venturi port, jet port. And uh, hope it's goes on right you have to be careful that the uh, the uh, tube is inside of that little bump and is not below it or flush up against the top of it on the inside it needs needs that gap just a little gap in there for that steam so Always a bit tense. I'm always glad when it looks like it turned out. Hooray! Nice soldered joint.
the torch actually burns for another five minutes. <laughs>